The locomotive um, pushes both carriages with the same force for the same amount of time. Now we know that F equals MA, so we can rearrange the equation and say A equals F on M for both of the, the two um, carriages which are being pushed. Now A1 is going to be a different um, value to A2. In the first carriage, it uh, gets up to a velocity of 4. We know that A equals V minus U on T. Plug all that in. We can get that, therefore, A1 is equivalent to 4 on T. If we substitute for A1 the 4 on T here, we get 4 on T equals F on M. And uh, just a bit of algebra gets 4M equals F on T. If we follow the same procedure in the second carriage, we get that 6M uh, 2 equals f on t. Now because f on t, f, f on t, f times t is the same for both, it's the same force by the same time, we can also write that um, 4m1 is equivalent to 6m2. So, now we know that um, the 4m is equivalent to 6 m2, 4m1 equals 6m2. That's because these are both equivalent to ft. And they're, they're both equivalent to the impulse. So you've got now a ratio of the masses such that m1 is actually 1.5 times m2. So when they lock together, we've essentially got a total mass of 2.5 m2. So the acceleration of the combination is the force applied divided by the mass it's acting over. And we also know that um, the, the force on mass 2 is equivalent to acceleration 2. Acceleration 2 is V minus U on T. That came to 6. Uh, so you get 6 on 2. That's your final velocity, the 6, uh, when it was at A2. Now, when there's a combination, 6 on 2.5 is going to give you 2.2.